My Hillel experience started at the University of Wisconsin when I was an undergraduate. I'm com very comfortable saying that Wisconsin gave me a basic education. Sorority taught me organizational skills, but Hillel gave me my Jewish identity. Well, the spark that got me involved is this spark over here, Bonnie. Uh, I basically had the opportunity to do what I do best, which is cook. Working with the students has been absolutely wonderful, uh, so much so that I got involved in a mentoring program a few years back, worked with a computer science student, and at least he uh, thought he got something out of it. And then when we dedicated uh, this house, I had the honor of hanging the mezuzah. That was special. Some of my best Hillel experiences were all centered around food. That included cooking for Shabbat dinners, that included baking when we did the baking uh, challah for hunger, and also the Passover Seder. Several years ago, I attended uh, a Hillel Passover Seder, and one of the questions that we were asked was to share a Passover Seder experience. And what I discovered was that at least three of the students had never had a Seder before, and this was the first Passover Seder that they were coming to in their lives. That was very moving for me. I have been inspired by the students. They want to learn about their Judaism. Especially now, they want to learn how to respond to the anti-Israel activities and comments that are occurring on the campus. I'm also very inspired by the volunteers and the professional staff who go above and beyond to make sure that the programs and activities that are made available to the students are the best that can possibly be given to them. Open your hearts and your checkbooks for Hillel. This organization benefits Judaism in large picture and the community more specifically. It deserves your support. First Hillel experience was um, I went to a Tubish font um, last year. And um, it's, it was a, I'm an RA in a dorm on campus um, at Santa Clara, so I took some of my residents over there as a floor program. Um, we have to meet um, a bunch of different requirements for our programming, and um, one of those was a di diversity program. And so at the time, I was taking a film and Judaism class, and um, I was just kind of, I guess, reconnecting with my, my heritage and my culture, and it was like really cool. I wanted to get more involved, and so I, um, wanted to come uh, to a Shabbat service of some sort, get involved with Hillel somehow, and uh, this was a perfect opportunity. Um, so it started out as a requirement, but um, yeah, I definitely, I was kind of hooked, kept wanting, wanting to come back. Last quarter, um, we started doing bageling, so we're, we're tabling, but um, we hand out bagels and schmear to the students that are coming by, and um, it's a lot of, um, People really didn't know that there was a Jewish Student Union um, before, you know, this year. And so I think that did a lot of, it was really good for PR, you know, got our name out there and a lot of people um, uh, can now definitely know that there was a Jewish Student Union. So it was really cool um, to talk to other students about what we're doing and um, kind of talk to other students about um, uh, who come from similar backgrounds as me. Um, just with the Jewish heritage, it's not very talked, it's not talked about very often. Um, are recognized much at Santa Clara, so it was kind of nice to actually talk to people um, who come from a similar background as me. So, um, yeah, just connecting at, at Bageling, I think, was, has been a really good experience, a favorite one so far. What's inspired me the most um, working with Hillel has probably been um, my team back at Santa Clara. Um, they're a really, really fun group uh, people to work with. Um, they all really love Hillel. They love what it stands for. They've all been here. They really have, um, have enjoyed the community here as well. Um, Matt's been really great to work with and um, yeah I think just mostly the the team back there the community here the people everyone here really has um, been uh, very welcoming um, very accepting and um, really just fun to be around um, the Shabbats over here are really fun um, all the students are really great to um, just sort of you know build a community with and um, it's really helped uh, it's been a really positive experience for me. Uh, I kind of wish I'd started when I was a freshman, um, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't start till junior year. So.
My first experience with Hillel was going to sushi night, which Matt convinced me to go to after I was a little bit nervous about going. Um, and it was a little daunting at first because there were a lot of people that I didn't know and there was a lot going on. And Matt really helped me meet a lot of people and become more involved and kind of break the ice and make it more comfortable. I think Hillel is preparing us as young adults to prepare us 20 years down the road to create a larger community to help everybody support each other by teaching us leadership skills and how to get a group of people together and have a good time and, and still provide a sense of family and community and friendship. All of the staff at Hillel have ex inspired me to keep going to Hillel and to be a leader and to give back to everybody. Um, I was really impressed when I first met Yael, who just came to the States, and she was really gung-ho to jump in and just have fun with everything and continue to learn and grow with us. Um, Matt teaches us how to stay on track with all of our events and, and how to start an event from the beginning and make it run all the way through the end without skipping steps and just have fun with it while still being productive. And Sarita in the background always makes sure that everything comes together and that everyone has this place to have the community. When I moved to the Bay Area, um, I lived here for a solid nine or 10 months without meeting anybody. And so once I started going to Hillel, just the first day I met a huge group of people, people from my major, people from my school, um, people who don't have anything to do with my school or anything like that, but they still provided a sense of community. And it was really a big deal for me that I finally, after living here for almost a year, that there were people around me that I could count on and that I could confide in and have friendships with. If I were to randomly meet somebody who had never heard of Hillel, um, I would explain it to them as a place that anybody can go. Who, to look for a sense of community and family and like security um, in, in multiple ways. So it provides a lot of like like Jewish education as well as like non-religious education. And um, it was huge for me during finals week. Um, I spent almost all of finals week on the table at Hillel using the Wi-Fi, eating the food and studying because at home I don't get anything done. Um, so it's, it's been a big help for me academically. And then socially, I think it's a really good way to educate non-Jewish people about not just the religion, but about the, the lifestyle and the culture that comes with it. My favorite memories of Halal would be the Shabbat dinners, specifically the Shabbat dinner just before Thanksgiving. Um, we went around and we talked about everything that we were thankful for, and it really solidified the sense of community that we have because almost everybody, I would say like 80 or 90% of people talked about how they were thankful for Halal. I think some challenges that Hillel faces and really just any Jewish culture is just the like anti-Semitism and getting people to be involved. So uh, for example, like as the vice president of the Jewish Student Union, we have a difficult time boosting attendance because many people who are Jewish are really apprehensive to make it known on campus that they are because there are a lot of there are a lot of haters. And so I think one good thing about Halal is that they teach us how to talk to those people who are afraid to let everybody know that they're Jewish and teach them how to be proud of it.